What's up, turtles? Crick here today with Blackout Outdoors. We're going to be doing a demonstration and review of the ENO Double Nest Hammock. This hammock uh, weighs 21 ounces. It's made out of nylon material, so you know it's light. It uh, has triple uh, triple interlocking stitching. Uh, this comes in the stuff sack. There's a um, clasp that comes over it. This is the stuff sack. It's all self-contained. And when you pull this out of the stuff sack, it stretches out to nine feet, or over nine feet. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're picking two trees to, you know, put this up, put this up in between. Folded, you can get this down to about five inches by four, the stuff sack, the hammock. You know, if you really care, this is a little bit bigger than that. You know, it's not that big a deal just to throw it in my bag at this size. But if, you know, if, if space was an issue, you could. Uh, it's rated, the double nest is rated to 400 pounds to accommodate for two individuals in the hammock at once. I would not recommend that with anyone you're not extremely, extremely close to, because it is a tight squeeze and you're touching the person from head to toe. But it's possible. And uh, where the carabiners attached to the hammock, there is these little loops of marine grade um, cordage. So it's pretty strong to hold the weight. And it's the double nest. And I'm gonna go set this up. Get this set up. <clears throat> Start with the strap first when I get the hammock set up. This is just some nylon webbing I bought at an outdoor store. Cheaper than the ENO slap straps, which is a pretty cool design. Um, just for price, just I'm just you know trying to get this uh, hammock set up the cheapest I can, you know, still functional. And this just pure nylon webbing, you know, by any outdoor store. <clears throat> pretty cheap per footage. Now depending on the distance the trees are the, the distance the trees are apart you want to uh, put your hammock up will determine how high you know you initially get the strap up on the tree. The closer the tree the lower you can put this. <clears throat> get the hammock out of its stuff sack. All self-contained. It's not a separate bag. It's attached to the hammock. A really nice feature. I opted for this green and tan combo. I really like it. Really blends into these eastern woodlands where most of these videos have been shot, or all the videos have been shot. this other tree ready for the hammock. At the end of these, this nylon webbing I have, I just tied a simple knot with the loop just to keep the webbing around the tree. And I choose to use a slip knot for hanging this up and I know it's not a very strong knot you can for you know just utter strength there's so many other knots you can use to get this hammock up to bear weight but with this just one piece of nylon it's really difficult to untie a really well done knot you know an in-depth in -depth knot so I have used this setup with the slip knot I've slept in it overnight three nights in a row doing this exact same knot, the same setup, and I have never woken up with my butt on the ground. I'm just putting, putting, <clears throat> getting a lot of, you know, uh, weight on this knot before I put any on it, like to get it really tight because it is a slip knot. Make sure it's a clean knot, not just a tight knot, make sure it's a clean knot. Let's do the same thing. On this side, same knot. Let's 
See the little end coming out. Now at this point, just set up the hammock, get it level, the level I want it, how much sag I think is going to happen. And I'll just raise the knot up accordingly for the distance of the tree. conversation always comes up what people prefer a tent or a hammock you know sleeping out overnight and personally weather and setting being ideal I would choose a hammock setting being there's enough trees I've slept in the desert you know I've been in desert environments juniper environments where the trees just aren't going to allow you to get a hammock up And you can sleep in these to pretty cold temperatures. You have enough layers, a tarp to help break the wind. You can really stay out to you know 30 in the 30s. The three nights I spent, uh, the three nights I spent sleeping in this, it, it rained. I had a tarp above me with the line out, and you know a down sleeping bag and the lows were the high 30s and I slept comfortably all night so you can comp accommodate for cold, cold weather in the hammock and you can see see on the hammock this is the stuff sack that the hammock comes in and, and when you're spending you know just a day in it or sleeping overnight it works well just the pocket pocket to put you know things in your uh, Keys, headlamp, you know, some snacks. If you're not going to spend all night any on a rodent trying to crawl down your line at the hammock. Anyways, it's just a pocket. Enter the hammock from the front. If you put it up correctly, you should be able to trust your weight on it. And your knot's not slipping. I did an okay job on this one. <laughs> and there, my hammy's up. So this is the ENO double nest hammock. This is Crick signing out with Black Owl Outdoors. Thanks for stopping by. A piece of loving turtles. What's up? Crick here. Did want to say one more thing. I wanted to show you how much more material is on this hammock being at the double nest. Um, how much more extra material is extra material when it's <coughs> one person in the hammock. Now I'll disappear. There's multiple ways you can lay in it. With all the extra material, you can do a lot, a lot of different things, other positions when you're just just maxing out. But the extra material does afford um, a potential to increase your warmth at night by having just a little flap to put over you, block a slight breeze, keep your face, you know, a little warmer. And to take it down, like I said, with the ease of this slip knot, nice little grip on it, pull it out. Let's take it down.